Some other news, our very own Alyssa Julia Smith took a trip to Seattle this week. She got an inside look at how Amazon's Alexa is taking over the in-car experience. Alyssa, what can you tell us? Hey, Hope and Tim, that's right. I spoke to Ariane Walker. She's the chief evangelist at Alexa Auto about how a lot of other companies are making their own versions of in-car assistance. We spoke about the heated competition in the world of connected cars. Take a look. You know, we really believe at Amazon that having choice is really important for consumers. And so by allowing people to bring together the different voice assistants on whatever device, we think is really important. And so one of the things that we actually announced last September is the Voice Interoperability Initiative. And we've had over 30 companies just at the outset join in. And what this does is actually allows us to work together to make sure that those voice assistants can communicate with one another, making it easy and seamless for the customer. So we're really excited about it. And in fact, we have a couple of um, car companies that have signed on for that initial group, including BMW and Sarant Nuance's automotive division. And congrats on that. Yeah. Now, I also want to ask you about the product. You also have Echo Auto. So yes. tell us a little bit about this and how it's such a game changer for you guys and, and for us as consumers. So when you think about how many vehicles are on the road today, there are hundreds of millions of vehicles out there that may not have the hardware and software capabilities to bring Alexa embedded into the vehicle itself. Right. And so we wanted to make it easy for customers to be able to bring Alexa into their car today, even before they may be ready to buy their next new vehicle. Mm -hmm. And so we've worked with lots of partners to be able to do that. There are lots of different aftermarket devices that have Alexa built in. And of course, we introduced our own Echo Auto device recently, where people can bring that in. It has a great eight microphone array, which what that means essentially is it can hear you. She can hear you over all of the car noise and the road noise, making it easy to communicate with Alexa when you're in the car. That's incredible. Yeah. Now, I also want to ask you a little bit of future thinking, of course. The next decade is going to be a lot of EVs, a lot of um, you know self-driving cars. So, how yes. are you guys really thinking about Alexa in that future? Yeah, well, of course, at Amazon, we're always forward-thinking and thinking about where things are headed. And I would say there are sort of two key things to think about in terms of voice and the future of the auto industry and the way things are changing and innovating. Um, first and foremost, as we see all of this new technology in vehicles, we know that it can be a little bit confusing for consumers, right? You and, you and me probably too, yes. when you get in the car to know how to use all of this great technology. So thinking about having a voice assistant who can help you with that, so oh, you can great. ask a question and get an answer, so easy, right? Yes. Such a great way to do it. But when we think even further into the future, when we think about maybe a point in time where we're not having to actually drive our vehicles, when we get to fully autonomous vehicles, you can imagine a situation where Alexa could help you be super productive and entertained in the car to do things even as wild as asking for your prime video on a screen inside the vehicle and being able to watch that. That was Ariane Walker, Chief Evangelist at Alexa Auto. And after learning all about Alexa Auto, it was my turn to take the in-car assistant for a test drive. I got behind the wheel of a GM Buick connected vehicle with Daphne Zarg, our global manager of in-vehicle apps at General Motors. Take a look. Daphne, thank you so much for having me in this new Buick by GM that has the Alexa experience in it. Yeah, thanks, Alyssa. I'm really excited to show it to you. Okay, so what are some of the features? Yeah, well, one really cool thing that GM has the capability is to push apps over the air. And with this Alexa integration, we can go back to model year 2018 and newer. So mm. here you can see the Alexa app has yes. launched in my car. Perfect. Um, and we were able to assign the push to talk button here on the steering wheel. Um, so there's no hardware required. Um, you don't have to tether your phone. It's a truly embedded experience. So, wow. Um, all of the Alexa skills work out of the box. So I'll give you an example. Yes. What's the weather? In Seattle, it's 44 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Today. Yes, so, it's chilly here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so all of my connected home features, um, the games, uh, et cetera, that you're used to getting with Alexa will work out of your car. So you don't have to say Alexa if you push that button. Is that what it is? That's correct. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Okay. We also have the soft button touch integration, but at GM, we really wanted to make it contextual to the drivers and the cars and the embedded systems that they're already using. So I'll give you some examples of 
uh, making phone calls and bringing up the native dialer inside the car. Call mom. I found a contact matching mom and Daphne's contacts. Is that who you want to reach? Yes. Calling mom's mobile. So here you see it'll launch the native dialer. Oh my gosh, we're gonna talk to your mom. I let mom know I'm doing media demos so she knows oh. to <laughs> ignore me. Okay. Um, but of course, one of the uh, top use cases is people want to be able to listen to their music. Of course, um, their podcasts. So that's exactly. So, an example. Play the Open Road playlist on Amazon Music. The playlist, Open Road, on Amazon Music. see it works um, but we really integrated it into the experience of the car so I can use my steering wheel buttons to advance oh great I can use the soft button touch and of course I can also use voice now can you also use Skip. oh sorry oh, sorry Alexa. <laughs> can you also use it to control parts of the car um, so like seat heaters. Uh, yeah, so we're always looking for how we can improve the customer experience with future features. So those are things that we're looking at. Very cool. Mm -hmm. That was Daphne Zargar, Global Manager of In-Vehicle Apps at General Motors. And a big thanks for taking a look at the latest from Alexo Auto.